But do you think uh, on the physics side of things, mm -hmm. you know, there's been uh, recently a few folks, Eric Weinstein and uh, Stephen Wolfram that came out with a theory of everything. I think there's a history of physicists dreaming and working on the unification of all the laws of physics. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's possible that once we understand uh, more physics, not necessarily the unification of the laws, mm -hmm. but just understand physics more deeply at the fundamental level, mm -hmm. we'll be able to start, you know, uh, <laughs> I mean, part of this is humorous, but uh, looking to see if there's any bugs in the universe that could be exploited for, uh, you know, traveling at, at uh, and not just speed of light, but just traveling faster than our current uh, spaceships can travel, all that kind of stuff. Well, I mean, to, to travel faster than our current spaceships could travel, you wouldn't need to find any bug in the universe, right? The known laws of physics, you know, let us go much faster up to the speed of light, right? And, you know, when people want to go faster than the speed of light, well, we actually know something about what that would entail, namely that, you know, according to relativity, that seems to entail communication backwards in time. Okay, so then you have to worry about uh, closed time-like curves and all of that stuff. So, you know, in some sense, we we sort of know the price that you have to pay for these things, right? For, under uh, under the know, current we we understanding of physics. That's right. That's right. We can't, you know, say that they're impossible, but we, you know, we know that sort of a lot else in physics breaks, yeah. right? So uh, now regarding uh, Eric Weinstein and, and Stephen Wolfram, like I wouldn't say that either of them has a theory of everything. I would say that they have ideas that they hope, you know, could someday lead to a theory of everything. Is that a worthy pursuit? Well, I mean, certainly, let's say by theory of everything, you know, we don't literally mean a theory of cats and of baseball and, you know, but we just mean it in the in the more limited sense of everything, a, fun a, a fundamental theory theory of physics, right, of all of the fundamental interactions of physics. Of course, such a theory, even after we had it, uh, you know, would, would leave the entire question of all the emergent behavior, right, yes. you know, to, uh, to be explored. Uh, so, it, so it's only everything for a specific definition of everything. Okay, but in that sense, I would say, of course, that's worth pursuing. I mean, that is the entire program of fundamental physics, Right, all of my friends who do quantum gravity, who do string theory, who do anything like that—that that is what's motivating them. Yeah, it's it's funny though, but I mean, Eric Weinstein talks about this. Mm -hmm. It is—I don't know much about the physics world, but mm -hmm. I know about the AI world, and mm -hmm. it is a little, it, it is a little bit taboo uh, to talk about AGI, for example, on mm -hmm. the AI side. Mm -hmm. So really, to talk about uh, the dr the big dream of the community, I would say, mm -hmm. because it seems so far away, it's almost taboo to bring it up because, uh, you know, it's seen as the kind of people that dream about creating a truly a superhuman level of intelligence. Mm -hmm. That's really far out there. Mm -hmm. People, because we're not even close to that. And mm -hmm. it feels like the same thing is true for the physics community. I mean... Stephen Hawking certainly talked uh, constantly about theory of everything, right? Uh, 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 you know, I mean, I mean, people, you know, use those terms who were, you know, some of the most respected people in the in the in the whole world of physics, right? But I mean, I think that the distinction that I would make is that people might react badly if you use the term in a way that suggests that that you, you know, thinking about it for five minutes have come up with this major new insight about it. Yeah. Right? It's it's difficult. Stephen Hawking is, is, a, is a, not a great example because I think you can do whatever the heck you want when you get, <laughs> when you get to that level. And I, and I certainly see like senior yeah. faculty, you know, mm -hmm. the, you know, at that point, that's the, one of the nice things about getting older is, mm -hmm. is you stop giving a damn. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. community as a whole, they tend to roll their eyes very quickly at stuff that's outside the quote unquote mainstream. Well, well, let me let me put it this way. I mean, if you asked, you know, Ed Witten, let's say, who is, you know, you might consider a leader of the string community and thus, you know, very, very mainstream in a certain sense, but he would have no hesitation in saying, you know, of course, you know, they're looking for a, you know, uh, you know, a, 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 a unified description of nature, of, you know, of general relativity, of quantum mechanics, of all the fundamental interactions of nature, right? Now, you know, whether people would call that a theory of everything, whether they would use that that term, that might vary. You know, Lenny Susskind would definitely have no problem telling you that, you know, if that's what we want, right? 
for me who loves human beings and psychology, it's kind of uh, ridiculous to say uh, a theory that unifies the laws of physics gets you to understand everything. Mm -hmm. I would say you're not even close to understanding everything. Yeah, right. Well, it's a, yeah, I mean, the word everything is a little ambiguous here, right? Because, you know, and then people will get into debates about, you know, reductionism versus emergentism and blah, blah, blah. And so in, in not wanting to say theory of everything, people might just be trying to short circuit that debate. And say, you know, look, you know, yes, we want a fundamental theory of, you know, the particles and interactions of nature.